swallow but the facts needed to be put out there mm -hmm. to you as well the anglophone problem you want to try that tell us you have some facts wow L let's let's put it in a very simple form because i've heard people say things and whatsoever uh positions no 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 i think people who are reducing the anglophone problem in cameroon to appointments i think that is a cosmetic part of it we, we are probably on the wrong side of the of, of the coin look it's simple article one line three of the constitution says that english and french are the official languages of the country with equal statue i just want us to look at our 5000 10000 1500 banknotes and you realize that we have a currency whose inscription is just in one language that is that is a problem uh, you, you know when i was in asmac the law of the school says that all professional courses should be in English and French. We had Nyo Moses teaching us um, television, and he did classes for three times, and he never came. The day we were writing exam, the school decided to set a question in French from Professor Albert Mbida, and we told them that we were not going to write the, the exam because we were not taught in French. At least if they wanted us to write, they would have told us. Uh, those are some of the issues. It is real. There is an anglophone problem. I don't like people who reduce it to appointments and whatsoever. Also it's just a matter of problem. respecting the constitution. You, you, we are in CRTV and we have to be factual. It's not a matter of separating the country, but you and I are in CRTV. We know that even when there is appointments, the text comes in French and we struggle to translate. We should be capable of, 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 of sorting these things out, but not in a violent manner. And we, we wish to, to, to tell some of our brothers and sisters who are on Facebook that it is not because they go on Facebook every day to complain of what is happening. We have some professional ethics that we sh there should be separation between the yeah, various we jobs we are doing. It doesn't mean that we don't see what is going on, but we should just be factual. We should, we should keep emotions aside. We understand that we are living in a society where emotions override reasoning. But why doing things, it can be know better. That, yes, when we reason, better. it can be better instead of, 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 of emotions and, and, and other Thank you issues. very much, yeah, Charles. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you absolutely. On your heels, the only thing I can see is we have children and those children will judge us. We should say what we can tell our children before we sure, say sure, sure, right. sure, sure. Thank you very much, Charles. You're welcome. And uh, it's a day of hope. We are hoping for many things, among which we are hoping for a victory that will give us a smile. For the lionesses and Please don't go reading a book. No, I will not read a book today. <laughs> for don't the lionesses and equally for schools in the English zones to make sure that there are people who replace us because if they don't go to school, we will continue to be here even in 2018. It's a difficult day, Charles, but thanks, thank you very much. Have You're welcome. a wonderful and a better one coming up. Right now, let's go listen to an interview that one of us, uh, Henry McCauley, did with.